This is the chocolate flip. And this, this is Jason's take on a really old drink, okay? I was just looking at flips the other day before he walked in with this. All right, so that's ice. And that's just to chill the glass. He puts that aside, lets it melt, just to, just to chill the glass, okay? So we start off with vodka. This real simple, dark chocolate liqueur. Because with flips, you need a sugar in there. And so he's using chocolate liqueur as the sugar. And you drop in an egg, okay? And you could do this with any liquor. Shake, shake, well, not the chocolate part, but I mean the egg and the... Everything else you can do with any liquor. Probably be better off using simple stuff. He shakes it, he pours it in, okay? And then we grate some nutmeg on top. And this is the way they were made back in the day. And there you have it, the chocolate flip, okay? Flips came about, actually I just read about flips the other day. Mm -hmm. So when you walk in with this, I was like, what? Yeah. It, these were in the late 1800s? 1860s, yeah. No. Okay, 1860s. Mm -hmm. And it's basically a liquor, typically like a sugar, mm -hmm. simple syrup or something like that, mm -hmm. and then an egg. Correct, a whole and, egg. And what he did was he, he twisted his in using this chocolate liqueur as, as the sugar. So this, this is really cool. And then you grate nutmeg on top. Correct. And you could do this with any liquor, mm -hmm. okay? So guys, any liquor you want to make a flip with, you, you can. All right, so. It's cool, it's kind of chocolate eggnog. You shouldn't get near. She's my official taster because I'm I'm dieting, okay? Wait till you all see me in a bikini homeboy. It's gonna be so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can send you some pics, Jason, so you can see what I'm talking about. There's an egg, does that count as breakfast? It's healthy. What kind of sale ass <laughs> joke? You walk in here with your bullshit jokes. Oh, this is an egg as breakfast? Oh, <laughs> she's so funny. Employee review, okay? You can buy yourself I'm putting a good word for you. So, do you, do you like flips in general? And typically when you make a flip, what would you make it with? What liquor would you do it with? I love whiskey. I, that's my default. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I always gravitate towards whiskey. Brandy, cognac works really well. Um, I wanted to try something a little cleaner and simpler today with vodka. I just might as well. Let, let, me, let, me, let me ask you a whiskey question, right? Mm -hmm. no, we just had this conversation. With expensive whiskeys and, and the, the brandies and the cognacs, etc., you're supposed to kind of drink those straight, right? I mean, that's that's kind of how it. That's it's sort of the tradition. If you think about it, you're spending a lot of money on a whiskey. Mm -hmm. You don't want to cover up the flavor. It's mm -hmm. like it's it's like a, the example I always like to use is like buying a really expensive steak, like a filet mignon, uh -huh. and then putting a bunch of A1 sauce on it. So it's, you know. But, it's, look, but let's look at the cognac world. So Louis mm -hmm. the Thirteenth, five thousand dollars a bottle, right? Yeah, approximately. Yeah, yeah, three three to five, somewhere in that vicinity. Mm -hmm. You would never. T I know. I know. You because we had this conversation. You made an old fashioned for some guy using Louis the Thirteenth. Yes. But that's pretty much insane. Like you would never do that personally. Probably not. I can't afford it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but if you had the money, I mean, uh, I probably wouldn't. You still wouldn't. I probably wouldn't. Just yeah. drink it straight. Yeah, I'd probably just. Drink okay. It. Okay. Okay. Because these guys, some one of the bartenders here, using a kind of an expensive whiskey. It wasn't that expensive. Not like you know. Uh, too expensive. Yeah, and people freaked out like, oh my God, you're hiding the taste. Mm -hmm. and then, dude, I mean, chill. And besides, if you got the money, dude, I'd be drinking Louis the 13th with Gatorade because I don't <laughs> care, all right? If I was a baller, like if I was Bitcoin rich, okay, Louis the 13th in my bikini with Gatorade eating a piece of chicken. That's real racist. Oh. I don't know <laughs> fuck we went off course. Anyway, listen, go check out Jason F. You, okay? <laughs> On Instagram, okay? All right? Follow this man, ladies and gentlemen, because he uh, is amazing, okay? I'm gonna sip on some Louis with my chicken. Stay tipsy!